You guys see my videos before, you know I really like LEDs on my quad. It helps for visibility when racing and it also looks really cool when up in the air. For the front of my quad, I'm using the ReadyMade RC white LED strip, which comes with five LEDs. So just find some wire that you have laying around from an ESC and you're going to want to solder the red to the positive, the black to the negative, and then throw on the double sided tape that comes with the lights. I tried putting this on the rear but it didn't really fit so I decided to put it on the front, front arms. Now just make sure that you have enough slack on the cables to come to the power distribution board and clip where needed. Then remove a portion of the tip and pre-solder the, the tips. Run them through the frame and go ahead and solder them on to any positive and negative on the power distribution board. All right, so the way that we wired these LEDs, when you power up the, the quad, the lights are gonna be on all the time whenever the battery's connected. There's other ways you can hook up LEDs using a Turnigy on-off switch, which you can program in your Tyrannus so you can have your lights on or off at the push of a button. But I figure when I, my battery's plugged in, I'm, I'm usually flying, so I want the lights on at all times. For the rear of the quad, I'm using the addressable LEDs from ReadyMade RC. So to power these, what you do is solder the positive and negative wires onto an empty pin on your flight controller. See here, the red goes to positive, the black goes to negative. You can just solder these directly onto the board. And then going to the addressable LED strip, do the same thing, you just solder these directly onto the positive and negative. And then for the signal wire, you're going to connect that to the DN on the LED bar. And on the flight controller, you're going to solder that directly onto pin 5. You can see in this picture here, the power going to the LED strip actually uh, soldered it in the wrong position, covering the uh, mounting slot for the flight controller. So just make sure you have room to fit the screw in on the um, 10 millimeter female to male uh, mounting stand off to the flight controller. So when you first power up the adjustable LEDs, there'll be a default setting for all the lights. What you're going to need to do is go into Clean Flight and program each individual LED to perform the way you'd like it to. Alright, so let's go into the Clean Flight setup and just go to other features and check the box next to LED strip and click save and then we're going to move on to the LED tab. Alright, so to program these LEDs, go into the Clean Flight Configurator LED strip tab. To start off, click on the wire ordering mode and then starting from right to left, click the squares until you hit 7. This will mean that you have 8 LEDs total, starting with 0 to 7. Unselect wire ordering mode, and then go ahead and click on 0. We're going to make the right LED an indicator, as well as a color. We're going to choose purple for this one, but you can do whatever color you'd like. This means that when the quad is going straight ahead, it'll be purple. When you turn right, the indicator will flash yellow. We're going to do the same for LED 1, indicator, and then select color and purple. For the middle four LEDs, I decided to go with arm state. And then also I selected color of purple. My idea was that when the quad is going forward, all LEDs will be the same color, increasing its visibility during a race. When the quad is disarmed, 
The middle four LEDs will be the default green. When it is armed, all four middle LEDs will be purple, as well as the two outer indicator LEDs. So for six and seven, these will be the left indicators. We're going to select indicator, then color, purple. Do the same for seven. And then go ahead and click save. All right, so here's what the LED should look like now. This is disarm state with the middle four being green. This is a right turn with the yellow flashing LEDs. Left turn here with the yellow flashing LEDs. And then when you arm the quad, the middle four are gonna to turn to purple. Disarmed, middle four go back to green. Right turn. Pitch backwards. Left turn again. And then one more time, this is what it should look like when it's armed.